LA's elite cannibal restaurant boasts Katy Perry, Meryl Streep, and Chelsea Clinton as members. Do you see by Baxter uh, Dimitri for yournewswire.com? Do you see how they're trying to make uh, this the norm, mind you? This is the new world order. This is the corruption. This is the Satanism that they stand for. Yes, indeed. I wasn't believing it, but here you go, folks. What do Katy Perry, uh, Perry, Meryl Streep, Anderson Cooper, and Chelsea Clinton have in common? They have all eaten human flesh at L.A.'s notorious cannibal restaurant, Cannibal Club. The private restaurant has long operated under the radar in Los Angeles with rumors circulating about who has attended and what is really served behind closed doors. Now a leaked Cannibal Club document has exposed some of the notorious restaurant's elite, quote, patrons. Cannibalism more popular than you might think. Meryl Streep, Chelsea Clinton, and CNN's Anderson Cooper all hold Cannibal Club membership. According to the document, Katy Perry, who has previously said that cannibalism is way more popular than you might think, and human flesh is the best meat, is also a regular diner. Boasting that the restaurant is the cutting edge of experimental cuisine and serves L.A.'s cultural elite, I should say Satanists, the Cannibal Club website makes uh, clear they specialize in the preparation of human meat that comes from young and healthy bodies. Cannibal Club's visiting chefs Hail from, hail from around the world and come to L.A. to practice their craft free of compromise and unbounded by convention, according to the Cannibal Club website. Filmmakers, intellectuals, and celebrities. Our exclusive clientele includes noted filmmakers, intellectuals, and celebrities who have embraced the Enlightenment ideals of free expression and rationalism. On event nights, avant-garde performance artists, celebrated literally, uh, liter literary figures, excuse me, and groundbreaking musician, uh, musicians entertain our guests. At Cannibal Co uh, Club, we celebrate artistic excellence as the natural an inevitable expression of the unbridled human spirit. Our staff, chef uh, de cuisine, yeah, proprietor, and art director. Describing each dish as a study in taste and elegance, chef de cuisine Sophie Lafayette, Lafide, uh, explains the meat we serve is selected from the young and healthy. Consistent with the practice of cannibalism in many primitive societies, we view anthropophagy. Excuse, I mean, I'm not used to all this stuff. Anthropophagy as a homage to the dead who are reborn into the bodies of their consumers. Really? But don't you think, uh, but don't uh, think you can just walk in there and uh, check the place out? The private restaurant operates a strict vetting policy, according to the website. It is necessary for us to operate privately and to vet our members in order to avoid disruption from the less enlightened human meat menu. The current menu listed on the site includes sirloin steak, human meat, flame broiled eight ounces, liver and mushroom pea rosy, 
a Russian version of p uh, pierogies baked rather than boiled with a savory filling of wild mushrooms and human liver and placenta lasagna and otherwise traditional lasagna with one layer of cheese substituted by minced placenta in heirloom tomato sauce seasoned with garlic onion and oregano whenever a taboo is broken something good happens something vitalizing Elspeth Blake, the cannibal club proprietor who claims to have earned her stripes working under Vincent Sardi Jr. in New York, did not immediately respond to our questions regarding where the human flesh comes from. Young and healthy bodies in the FAQ section of the website, Cannibal Club claims most of the businesses and institutions who supply us prefer to keep those relationships discreet. On the individual level, bodies are often bequeathed to us. For some, this is a way to supplement life insurance and offset funerary expenses. For others, such as Cannibal Club members, Gwendolyn Fenwich, who was uh, served uh, to her friends, and relatives at the club in January of 2008, being prepared as a meal and thereby reborn into the bodies of the living is an attractive alternative to the more traditional practices of burial and cremation. The revolution, uh, revelation that Hollywood royalty, pop stars and cable TV anchors consume human flesh when they are in Los Angeles is merely the, merely the latest example of public figures being exposed as dark figures, revealing in the reveling in the darkness. I mean, I'm losing my mind just reading this. I can't believe what I'm reading. Uh, Jay-Z described Jesus Christ as the original fake news. Late in 2017, Miley Cyrus said, Hail Satan on live radio and claimed she has a closer relationship with the devil than with her earthly father. Billy Ray Rihanna was caught telling children in Barbados that if Jesus hasn't answered your prayers, try praying to Satan. Just last week, Chelsea Clinton told her Twitter, uh, Twitter followers that Satanism is a religion, quote, that deserves respect. These incidents have sparked fears around the world that the Illuminati have moved on to the next phase of their master plan and have begun openly promoting dark spirituality as a viable religious choice for those seeking guidance. Do you see what we're saying? Why did I call them Satanists? Uh, the more you look into this stuff, the more you see they're evil. And it is frightening, actually. It is frightening. And then uh, uh, Chelsea tried to deny that she has ties to the Church of Satan, right? And here she is now. I mean, what what do you make of this stuff? I mean, it's it's like, I don't know what to say. I'm, I'm what? Like, that's what I'm saying. What? You know, you hear about this, but you don't believe it. And now, look, and it's like a dungeon. The, the place looks like a dungeon underground. And don't tell me that they, you know, I mean, I don't want to go into this, but, you know, you, you, you can put the pieces of the puzzle together. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.